Hi, my name's Aaron Tadic, and I want to talk to you about RBGH. So, you might be wondering, what is RBGH? Well, it's an artificially produced version of a cow's bovine growth hormone manufactured using genetically engineered bacteria. It is sold by the Monsanto company. What does this hormone do? It produces 5 to 15% more milk. Well, this doesn't seem so bad, you might think. Well, we're just getting started. Why do we use it in the first place? Was there a shortage of cows or milk? In fact, the answer is no. It was the exact opposite. There was so much milk and so many cows that we actually had to slaughter some of the cows because of our overproduction of milk. Why should we be concerned? When scientists performed their research, they found some of the effects of RBGH in cows, humans, and even the farmers. Some of their research showed a greater incidence of diseases, in particular mastitis, a painful infection of the udder. Some of their other research found increased incidences of hoof, knee, and leg disorders, along with birth defects and reproductive disorders. Because these cows are unnaturally forced to produce milk beyond their normal levels, they live shorter, productive lives. As for humans, milk quality may be degraded. Because some cows have diseases like mastitis, their somatic cell count is higher. Because their somatic cell count is higher, the milk spoils faster due to the bacteria in RBGH. Also, with RBGH cows, they showed an increase of insulin-like growth hormone 1 in their milk. Studies suggest that there may be tumor growth in both cows and humans. And as for the farmers, overproduction of milk depress their prices. When researching this topic, I wondered how in the world would the FDA ever let this pass? Well, it turns out some of the employees from the Monsanto company were either really close or already working for the FDA. When investigations made by Congress and the General Accounting Office, they made an agreement that some things hadn't been addressed for RBGH. No further action was taken. The benefits for consumers of RBGH are, well, nothing. There's no taste and there's no nutritional value to RBGH. So what can you do? You can become more informed, you can tell others, and you can shop smart. Let's take a trip to the local grocery store to investigate some labels. Here at Tadix Econo Foods, they offer organic milk and natural milk. We'll focus on organic milk later, so right now, let's take a look at the label of Farm Fresh Milk. As you can see, Farm Fresh Milk provides no label regarding their use of RBGH. This is because the FDA does not require such labels. Now, let's take a look at Dean's Milk. Dean's Milk, on the other hand, is a smart company that uses labeling to their advantage. As you can see here, our farmers pledge no artificial growth hormones. This is because they want you to know the quality of their product. They want you to know that it's safe to consume and that the animals used in producing, producing their products were not harmed. Also, you can save 55 cents now. We've moved on to the organic section of the store. Let's take a look at the Organic Valley brand. Organic, by definition, has to be RBGH free. Organic Valley is also USDA organic. They also claim you wouldn't put them on your table, so we never use antibiotics, synthetic hormones, toxic pesticides, or GMOs. Take two, ice cream section, action. Nosotros llegamos a la sección del helado. For those of you who don't speak Espanol, we arrived at the ice cream section. Did you know that some of your favorite brands of ice cream wouldn't dare put harmful artificial ingredients into their products? For example, Ben & Jerry's. They advertise, read it for yourself, 
We source non-GMO ingredients. Boom. So now I'm here in Target's dairy section and I came across this sign. Notice at the bottom it says, no significant difference has been shown between milk derived from RBST treated and non-RBST treated cows. Well personally, I think they're lying. Let's take a look at all of these labels of milk. Keep in mind that all of these are RBST or RBGH free. Kemp's, no significant difference. Fairlife, no significant difference. Nesquik, no significant difference. Even some yogurt companies tell you this. Thanks, Chobani. Luckily, Yoplait likes to keep it real. They say that their product is partially produced with genetic engineering. Also, I recently communicated with Ann Rennard from Door County's Rennard's Cheese. She confirmed for me that they as a company do not allow the use of RBGH. They also do their own testing for RBGH even after the farm inspection. A section of her email reads, Research has shown if cows are injected with RBGH, it is found in their milk. The milk production of a cow may be higher. However, the health of a cow typically deteriorates quickly. Research has also shown yogurt, milk, and cheese made from RBGH injected cows still have the RBGH in it after processed. With these two facts in mind, we have chosen as a company not to allow the use of RBGH. We pride ourselves in our production being natural. RBGH is not naturally occurring in the cow and therefore we disagree with the use. We find it to be cruel to the animal and a potential health risk to the consumer. Because of this email, I firmly hold my belief of the sign in Target. I do think that there is a significant difference between the tests of RBGH and non-RBGH and I think it's important because I care about my health, others' health, and the animals' health. Thank you for watching my presentation on RBGH and how it pertains to Door County.